Hey everyone, it's John again. Wanted to do a, another quick comparison video if you haven't figured out by now. I like comparisons. Uh, showing this saber with its sole P4 green against um, another saber which is running a Lux V green. So we can see sort of the difference. Also, I'm going to take away this display because I realized in the initial video that um, that mirror was really obstructing from the overall profile of the saber. Here you can see it a lot better with the idea of having this these tapered back end. This tapered back end, uh, the narrower grip, and then again the flare out towards the front. So This is the saber. Let's go ahead and show it to you with uh, against a Luxion V. The sole P4 green on this particular Sabre King's Meat is being run at uh, 1200 milliamps, 1.2 amps. The Luxion V is being overdriven at 1000 milliamps or 1 amp. That's this Sabre. We'll go ahead and do a quick impromptu uh, brightness comparison test. So this is the sole P4. Power up this. Ultrasound 2.5. And this is the Lux V Green. Maybe difficult to see in the video, but the shades of green are markedly different. The green is on the Lux V is much more of a deeper, richer green as seen in the movie uh, with Luke in Return of the Jedi. This particular saber um, with the sole P4 green is much more of a, a, I wouldn't call it a yellower green, but it is uh, much more fair. And so it uh, gives you an idea of their actual difference. This I believe is a bin two or three. Now as you can see, the, the brightness plume, hard to see again with videos. Don't be swayed just by videos. You have to see these in life, in real life for yourself. But um, overall, judging by the plume of light, the Lux V and the Sol P4 at these currents are very similar. Um, go ahead and turn the lights off here. You can see it a little better as far as the light that the Lux V is outputting. It is brighter than the Sol P4, um, but some would say not so much so that uh, the Lux V's advantages override the Sol P4's power these off and talk about this a little more. So, the main reason why I wanted to show you guys that, uh, for those of you who haven't seen it, and again I encourage everyone to try this out in person, uh, not trust just videos and pictures because uh, they're commonly overexposed, but the bottom line here is that uh, the Soul P4 offers great brightness. Uh, compared to the Luxion V, and consider that the Sol P4 can be run off of as little as 3.7 volts. You can run it off of a single lithium ion cell if you really needed to. Um, by contrast, the Luxion V requires, it, it prefers closer to 8.4 volts. And so even with a 7.2 volt pack, which is going to fry your Hasbro and your Master Replica soundboards and really require you to use either an ultrasound or a crystal focus as examples. Um, you really need essentially double the voltage and even the 7.2 volt you're under feeding that LED. So as far as bang for your buck, your Sol P4 green is, is a definite competitor against the Lux V. For total brightness, if you're not concerned about driving the LED properly, and or you have a, a hilt and a, a soundboard setup which is going to drive that LED properly, then obviously go for the Lux V. It's going to offer you um, maximum possible brightness. But again, advantages and disadvantages to both. I guess this video turned out to be a little longer than I had anticipated, but uh, I think you all get the idea. Thanks for watching.